Hello and welcome back to Subnautica. Guys, we have a little bit of a problem here. Let's go back to the alien containment that we built last episode. Oh, wow. They're already hatched? Okay, well, that was quick. Here's the issue. Number one, I didn't realize that I uh, put crash fish in here. Those things are evil and, well, never thought I would have them as a pet. But the main issue is I gotta let this little guy out, according to you guys. And I gotta let him swim around a little bit. I've never let a fish out of an alien containment before. And I'm scared that I'm gonna let the other ones out on accident so i mean i didn't really plan for this but i think we're gonna just try maybe jumping in there i don't know let's take a look okay oh i have to drop some stuff how big is the cuttlefish we'll put a little bit of this titanium up perfect i think i just thought maybe that uh <laughs> by opening up the hatch they would like come out of the aquarium but i don't think that's the case i think i just click on it well, either way, at some point, I'm probably going to get rid of these crash fish. I'm not sure if I actually want an alien containment with them. I hate them. They're terrible. So let's take a look at what this is. Cuttlefish, a curious species hatched from an egg in an alien containment. Okay, let's drop this. Wow, that's pretty cool looking. I don't think I've actually ever seen any creature on this game so far that looked like that. Oh, I can play with it? Whoa. That's cool. Knowing me, you're probably going to die soon. So let's hope that doesn't happen. Uh, <laughs> what I want to do real fast is I want to get rid of these crash fish. I mean, they're not going to really serve me any purpose being in here. I didn't actually know those were the crash fish eggs. Otherwise, I wouldn't have thrown them in there. I uh, probably don't want to throw those out here, right? They're going to just immediately become aggressive towards me. Is that how it works? Let me just drop it right here. Hold on. Oh, no, it's fine. Who knows where it's going? I don't care. I want to find some bladder fish that I can put in the alien containment. Here we go. Here's one. And I want to get those breeding. Because one of you guys said in the comments section... It's a scary noise. Something's exploding. One of y'all said in the comments section that if I breed bladder fish, it's basically free and in infinite water. Which I thought was really smart. So I don't know if I actually need to put the eggs in here or if I can just put two of these in here. And maybe they will breed eggs. That's what I'm hoping will happen. Okay. Um, man, I'm kind of used to the greeting. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Do it myself. So th as those are potentially breeding, I want to get the rest of these resources because I kind of have something in mind. I always thought, ever since I went to the Degasi Cave, getting some of those crab squids in an alien containment would be super cool to do. Now, the issue is I don't know how big the alien containment needs to be in order to actually have those things in there. But, uh, you know, we're going to give it a shot. If we need to expand it we can i'm just gonna move this sea moth right over here so you know me i'm pretty good at this stuff not really let's go ahead and put down a foundation i went ahead and saved you guys the time i have all the resources necessary already i'm just hoping i don't screw it up and let's go ahead and put a multi-purpose room maybe right here it always gets a little tricky when you try to put tubes into it and then i guess we don't really have to connect the multi-purpose room to the base although i would like to at some point um let me just make sure okay sweet this has power awesome what Okay, so let's look for the alien containment here. And let's go ahead and build another one and place it right in here. And then the next time we're uh, near the Degasi cave or near some sort of crab squid, we can look for eggs and try to bring them back here. We'll have a whole army of them. Well, um, the next thing I want to do real fast before we head out, because I have something planned, is if you notice at the bottom, we have basically empty batteries in all of our tools. And that's not okay. I don't like that. So I want to craft a couple more things in here that we've never crafted before. One of those things is a battery charger. But in addition to that, I also want to make a coffee maker. I've been talking about making one of these for a very long time. And one of you in the comments section told me that you can actually get hydrated from the coffee. I did not know that. You I've... Like you could use some coffee? Yeah, I could. I could use some coffee. It kind of scared me. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't expect it to talk to me. Oh, was I supposed to grab a cup? How does this work? Ah. Thank you. Let's drink that. That's right, baby. That's just the energy I need to make this battery charger. So one thing I did notice is that we do have the power cell charger, which I want to make. I want to start charging some of these batteries. But the actual normal battery charger, we don't have still. In fact, if we take a look here, we actually still need one piece 
to that battery charger. And I think I might know where to get it. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, you know, I, I tend to be very lucky in this game. Some might disagree. But when I was getting resources earlier, I saw a life pod that we've never gone to before. It's very shocking. And I saw there was a data box near it, but I decided to hold off and wait to open it until we uh, started recording here. Maybe it will be our battery charger we needed. Here it is, right over here. So there's some data boxes here, or at least one, and a PDA. So we'll grab these. I'm really curious to see what it could be. Nothing. Dang it. Okay, well, at least there's a PDA. I'm just going to jump in here real fast and make sure that I haven't explored this already. I feel like it's totally possible it could be in here as well. And while I do that, let's go ahead and listen to this PDA we just found for LifePod 6. Ma'am, I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora didn't make it. So, where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. Whoa. We have rendezvous coordinates, but the routes are radiated. So, what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there! I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. That'd be me. Don't worry. I'll go. That'd be me 100%. You want to go out there? You want to die? Then you do it. No, I'd probably risk it all. So here's the sealed door. We're opening up this right now. I did see a propulsion cannon fragment on the ground. Maybe repulsion. Get them all mixed up. Propulsion. Okay. There was a scannable over here. I'm going to wait to scan that. Because I really just want to see laser cutter. Oh, here's another data box. Is it something? No. Dang it. Oh, battery chart. Let's go, dude. That's awesome. Okay. I'm telling you, my luck is on my side. I truly did not plan for this whatsoever. It was merely a random series of events that brought me here. So we'll head back to the Seamoth here. We'll head back to base. I want to make the battery charger and the power cell charger. We'll place those inside the base, get some charging. And then I want to head back to the Cyclops. Talking about wasting batteries and energy, you guys said that there's plenty of leeches on my Cyclops right now, sucking all the energy from it. And I'm not okay with that. In fact, I have a really good attorney that's uh, gonna take them out for me. But I was thinking maybe we can actually place these and build these out here, just because we never use this side of the moon pool. It's always vacant and lonely place this power cell charger right next to it so i'm assuming the power cell charger will only power one at a time is that right or will it do two i don't think i have any power cells here that we could probably test that on however i do have some batteries that i can place in there to test the other charger out in fact i have four dead batteries on me right now six make it six let's see how many batteries we can throw in here one two three four perfect now, how long does this take to charge? That's slow. Okay. Well, in the meantime, I am going to make three other power cells just because I want to bring some more back. In the last episode, we were having a power failure in the Cyclops, which made me have to use the backup power cells. Now, I am going to need four batteries to make these other two power cells. We're gonna use the charger at some point. I know we will, I promise. All right, and that should be the last battery right there. We can now refill all these back up. I don't know how I got these like so low. I mean, negligence is the answer. I'll throw these batteries on the charger here. Told you we'd use it. And then let's head into the Seamoth because we gotta go towards the prawn suit. And let me just give you a rundown of what the plan is here. It's getting dark, which is not great. You know, one thing I didn't even think about is this whole time I've never used a bed once. I don't know why. So the reason I want to go back to the prawn suit is, well, we want to go back to the Cyclops. We want to kill all the leeches. They're uh, taking advantage of us in our power. But in addition to killing the leeches, I also want to make a thermal reactor for the Cyclops. I want to be able to charge my power cells while I'm down deep in the Lost River. And in order to do that, Welcome I'm going to need Kyanite. You need Kyanite to make the uh, thermal reactor. So I'm left with the option of uh, bringing this brawn all the way back to Life Pod 2, where my Cyclops is. It's going to be fun. I'm going to have a great time. So in order to get Kyanite, I'm going to need to go to some pretty deep depths. 
I don't know if that makes sense. Deep depths. And in order to do that, I'm gonna need a depth module for this thing. But I was thinking about it, and it only makes sense to make some of the other modules as well that you guys have recommended. So in addition to making the uh, thermal reactor, we're gonna be making the grappling arm, jumping jet, jump jet, whatever. And we should have most of the resources we need in order to make that happen, so I'm not too worried about it. All right, we are down here. Now, keep in mind something I have noticed about this area, just kind of scary, is that these guys live here. And like I was saying earlier, I want to try and find their eggs. So maybe while I'm down here, at some point, I don't know, this is actually the, not the right way. Is that copper? Or is that sulfur? I think that's sulfur. I'm really hoping that I have a bunch of copper inside the storage here. And if I don't, then plan B of Zach's planning says, I really hope that there's copper ore down here. And if that's not the case, well, that's gonna suck. That's sulfur, right? What is this, copper? Is this copper? Ooh, this is copper. Let's go. Okay. So that's eight copper. That's pretty much all the copper that we actually need. So let's go ahead and drop this guy off right next to our base. Let's go inside the base and drop this stuff Welcome off. Aboard, Captain. Thank you. Okay. So do we have a fabricator in here? We don't. That's fine. So we're going to need seven gold. Well, technically we need eight because we need to make a fabricator now. And we are going to need some coral samples as well, which I don't know if that's even down here. I hope it is. I think it's right behind me. Don't kill me. I don't have my lights on. I have a good attorney. So I went ahead and uh, grabbed my Seamoth and I put a storage module in it. Mainly because I couldn't find any table coral samples. And then once I found some, I didn't have any room. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. All right. So we have everything we pretty much need here. Let's uh, access the storage. Okay. We're going to need to make another storage thing. Temporarily. I mean, we don't really need it. But we do. Okay, so let's get to building here. The first thing we're going to make is a fabricator. Which I don't know why it's taken us this long to make that in here. Oh god. What am I missing? Table coral samples. Okay. I didn't realize those were so hard to find down here. In fact, if you guys know a better way to find table coral samples down in the Lost River, let me know. That's been like my kryptonite so far. Okay, now we should be able to make the computer chip. Which is the last thing we need in order to make the modification station which we will just place right over here. There we go. All right, let's make the prawn suit depth module mark one. We'll make the prawn suit grappling arm. And we'll make the prawn suit jump jet upgrade. Now you guys said with these combinations, I should be able to maneuver around quicker than I would with the Seamoth. You guys have a lot of confidence in me. And then I'll make the storage module as well for the prawn suit. And that should be all the modules we need to fully upgrade this thing. Let's go take a look here. Here we go. Access upgrades. Let's apply the jet upgrade, the grappling arm, depth module, storage module. And I believe that is it. We do have room for one more upgrade if we want to add that. But before we do that, I'm not sure if we have all the resources for it. Let's make sure we can make the Cyclops Thermal Upgrade. Here we go. Cyclops Thermal Reactor Module. Converts environmental heat energy into electrical power for use by the Cyclops. That's what we want. Now, like I said, we can't get that without the Kyanite, but I would at least like to make some polyaniline while we're here. We're going to need two of it. And that should be the last polyaniline we need. Now we can adventure into the deep depths, looking for Kyanite so we can make our final upgrade to our Cyclops. Now I'm gonna be completely honest, I don't exactly remember how to get back to Jarvis XL, but I believe it's in this direction. I could be wrong. Dang, we're jumping higher now. Oh, we should use these grappling arms. How does this work? Ooh, that's awesome. So I assume maybe if like we stick to the ceiling and do that, that's probably the best way to Ooh. Okay. So here's like one of those heat volcanoes. So once we craft the thermal thing for the Cyclops, I think we need to be near something like that in order to charge it. There she is. Jarvis, I have returned. So we need to get Kyanite while we're down here. But before we do that, let's get rid of these leeches. Because I ain't playing games anymore. Where are you at, leeches? Is this a leech? Out of here. Whoa! Okay. Oh, dude, we're on 50% health right now. Are you kidding? All right. Let's get in this Cyclops real fast. Thank you. Where are we at on energy levels right now? I feel like I'm on Star Trek. 33. Okay. 
Okay, we do have one extra power cell, so let's add those two in there. Now, do I have a med kit on here? I mean, I probably just need to craft one. I just don't know if I have... We have so many batteries. Oh my gosh, we need to get a charger in here. I was hoping I maybe had a med kit or something, but I don't even think I can craft one. I don't have the right ingredients. All right, well... Oh my gosh, it's trying to teleport me again. Seek fluid intake. Oh, and we're thirsty. Do we have water on us? We don't. I just had a bunch of water on me. I must have left it. Oh, man. This is what happens. Everything goes well. And then you go to this location here and you start to become befuddled. I don't know if that's the right word, but that's how I feel. I feel befuddled. Here's the kyanite. There we go. Now we need four kyanite, but we'll obviously get as much as we can while we're down here. All right, we got 11. That should be more than enough. In fact, if we want to make any other upgrades, I believe kyanite is the way to go, at least for the bronze suit, probably for the cyclops as well. We'll head back to the cyclops right now. We'll make the thermal reactor module for the cyclops. We'll get it charging. And then we'll head back to the main base because I have some things I want to take care of. All right. Let's grab our kyanite from our prawn suit. Let's grab our other resources, which was the wiring kit and the polyaniline. And let's head to the fabricator and make the thermal reactor module. This is gonna be awesome. Now, I don't know if we're just immediately gonna start charging now. I don't know if we're in a hot enough location. Let's see if we can, I think we just need to bring this like a little bit. Oh, there's another leech, dude. We need to bring this a little bit lower to this right here, this little volcano, I believe. And then we can use this heat to charge up the Cyclops possibly. 23%, 24%, oh, it's charging, okay. So we just needed the engine on, so that's good. It wouldn't have gone up if it wasn't charging, I'm hoping. Let's go ahead and turn off the lights in here just so it uh, doesn't suck up any more energy than it needs. Oh, I'm thirsty, oh my gosh, hold on, emergency. Do I have any water here? Any water at all? No, I don't. I have to think fast. Here's something. It'll probably give me a little bit of water. There we go. Okay, we're at three water. Okay, so I gotta get out of here. I gotta get to the surface as fast as possible. I'm out of water. We're losing oxygen. And the last time I went to my Lost River base from this location specifically, I barely made it. So we're just gonna have to see what happens here. I think these these gel sacks will give me a little bit of water if I absolutely need it as well. Let's go ahead and consume these. Okay, we're at 10 water, that's good. I have to go based off memory on how to go back. My memory has failed me before. I cannot afford to make a wrong decision here. Okay, um, I think we gotta go to the left here, a little bit to the left. Hope I'm right. Oh, there's table coral samples. That's good to know. Okay, so there's the alien. I think we gotta go left here. Is it up here? I think it's I think it's up here. Okay, there's the waterfall. Yes. We have 50 oxygen left. Oh no. I gotta change out the battery. Battery just died. 30 oxygen. I can't even see the base just yet. I think it's in this direction. Oh, I can barely see the base. I can see it. Three. Oh, okay. I got to use my air bladder. 15 seconds. And we barely made it back. Oh my gosh. That was so close. Oh, all right. Do I have some water in here? I do. Okay. Let's drink this water up. Well, I got good news and I got bad news. The good news is we're alive and we made it back. The bad news is I left all the batteries I was supposed to bring with me to get charged. So that kind of sucks, but that's all right. It's not a big deal. Now, real fast, before we head out of here, one thing I was just thinking about was that these guys right here probably have some eggs laying around. In fact, I think I see one maybe right there. I don't know, I can't tell. So we're gonna have to just go with our gut instinct here. Hopefully it doesn't see us. Oh my god. I'm gonna get away from this thing. Dude, I don't even know what its eggs look like. This may have been a huge mistake. What is this? Creature egg. That might be it. I don't know. But if it is it, I probably need to find one more. Here we go. Here's a second one. I don't know if this is it for sure, but I'm going to assume it is. And I'm going to go back to my Seamoth and get out of here. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. We'll head back to the main base. 
we'll throw the crab squid eggs in the alien containment center, and then we'll apply some upgrades to the sea moth because I want to do a little adventure. Alrighty, back at the base. Oh, aboard, Captain. you know what I just realized? Do we have any quartz on us? We don't. I'll get some quartz. I never put a hatch in that, uh, in that containment center. That's all right. We'll go ahead and uh, create the modules first. Let's head over to the vehicle upgrade console. Let's craft the Seamoth sonar. And then for the perimeter defense system, we got to make some polyaniline. Okay, let's do that real quick. Now we should be able to make the Seamoth perimeter defense system. Let's come out here and apply these upgrades. And then we'll build this hatch here so that we can put these creepy looking eggs in here, which I'm hoping are those sea crabs, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, so with the sonar and perimeter defense system set up, I need to head northwest. That's what you guys said in the comments section. That's where the dunes are. And apparently there's one blueprint I still have not unlocked. And that is the still suit, which converts your sweat into water, drinkable water, which is pretty cool. I'm assuming whatever's left in the lost river is going to take me probably closer to the end of the story. And you know, before I do that, I want to make sure I have all the blueprints made. So as we enter the dunes here, we need to be on the lookout for some wrecks. There's at least one wreck here that contains the blueprint to the still suit that I haven't visited yet. Oh, here's a, uh, I forget what you call these. These are time capsules. Ow. From Russia with love. The enemy is insidious. Be on the lookout. Ooh, that's kind of scary. That's cool. So you can actually get these from other players. That's really, really cool. I would love to make my own. You guys will have to let me know in the comments section. Once we have the ability to make a time capsule, what we should write in there. There's a reaper. Want to stay away from that guy. Oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Dude, that scared the heck out of me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wow. I was not expecting that. Okay. Let's, um, I think I see a wreck down there. Let's go ahead and heal up here. <laughs> oh my gosh. That scared me so bad, dude. I was not expecting that. Like, I saw him in the distance, and then I kind of thought we were good. Next thing you know, I just hear the creepiest roar ever. Oh, that's creepy. Oh, here's another wreck. Here we go. This looks a lot smaller, though. I don't think we've been in this one. Oh, here's a data box. Nope. Nothing. Oh, we have been in this one, I remember. Okay. Yeah, we've already been here. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my gosh, that scared the heck out of me, dude. The dunes is not a safe place. We need to repair this thing right now. I don't like to be outside of my... Okay, I'm getting in. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. Yeah, that was the wreck we were just at. Was it? <laughs> I think there's something important here, dude. I think there's something real important here. I'm going dark. Let's look around in here. Oh, here's a data box. Is this it? Water filtration suit. Is that it? I think that might be it. No wonder that Reaper Leviathan was guarding that so heavy. I knew there would be something in here, dude. I think we need to... No, I don't think so. Okay. Now that said water filtration suit, which I think that's it. However, I think somebody said in the comment section it was called water still suit. So it might be worth just double checking that. I'm gonna open this sealed door. We ran into so many Reaper Leviathans, dude. Those things are so scary. In fact, he's still here. Okay. Let's go ahead and eat some food here. Drink some water. Well, awesome. I'm getting out of here. There it is. Where's my Seamoth? That's so scary. There's two! There's two right here! 
Oh my gosh, dude. All right, I'm out of here. Let's head back to the main base here. We'll take a look at the... Uh, <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> this game is so terrifying, dude. This game is so terrifying. Let's head back to the main base, like I was saying. We'll take a look at our blueprints. We'll make sure that the still suit is the same as the water filtration suit. <laughs> I'm so scared right now. And then we'll craft it. We'll make the we'll make the water filtration suit. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, we have made it back to base. Thank God. I almost died like four times just looking for that suit. So it only makes sense that we actually make it. Here we go. Synthetic fibers, aerogel, and copper wire. I don't know if we have all those here. Might be at the, the other base. Benzene and fiber mesh. We do have... I think we did bring some of that stuff with us, didn't we? Do we have any of that blood oil with us? Because I think that's what we need to make benzene. Yeah, I didn't think we had any. Okay. We'll make what we can here. I think the last thing we're going to just need to make is some benzene with the blood oil. We'll make some aerogel. And then let's park this thing right here. We'll jump into the moon pool. I really hope we have copper. Uh, okay, yeah, we do. Sweet. We have plenty of copper. Okay. So we should have everything we need now to make that synthetic fiber. Let's make the benzene. And then with the benzene, we should be able to make the synthetic fibers. And then am I missing anything? We can make the water filtration suit, which let me read on this super fast. I believe this is the exact water same thing. Water filtration suit equipped and capturing body moisture. To chemically neutralize residual odors, press the activation button in the next three seconds. That's awesome. You have chosen not to activate chemical taste neutralization. Thank you, and have a nice day. <laughs> That's awesome. That's so cool. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to call it here for today's episode. We got so much done. I'm so happy with this episode. Terrified, too. I can't believe I got so scared with those uh, Reaper Leviathons, man. Those things just snuck up on me. Uh, I don't want to ever go back to the dunes if I don't have to ever again. But... If you enjoyed the video, feel free to drop a like. It helps out the channel. I'm a small channel. If you want to see more content like this, then please subscribe. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.